The Catholic Church claims that they can trace their identity and their purpose all the way back to Peter. They claim that Jesus appointed him as the foundation of the church. Is this true? Let's do a quick word study and you can decide for yourself. Hey guys, it's Justin again, and welcome to another Tough Tuesday, where you give us hard and controversial verses that we do our best to break down together, leaving you with simple Bible truth. So here's the verse for today, Matthew 16, verse 18. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Bam! There it is, right? Peter's the rock, the man for the job, and even hell can't withstand the church that's built on Peter. At least, that's the interpretation of our Catholic friends, and maybe some others as well. Now, there's no doubt that God used Peter in a powerful and even miraculous way to advance his kingdom. But for the church to be built on a person, that's got to be quite a person. And it needs to be a strong and stable character if the future of the entire church depends on it. Well, was Peter this way? Just five verses after this statement, Jesus speaks to Peter and he says, Get thee behind me, Satan. Whoa! That doesn't sound too good. And not long after this, Peter cursingly denies Jesus three times. Now, I'm not trashing Peter. He's actually one of my heroes. But this just proves that he was just a man. Let's dig a little bit deeper and see what uh, the Bible has to say about this. When we look at the original Greek language that the New Testament was written in, the word translated as Peter is the Greek word petros. This word, in its masculine noun, means a stone or a pebble just a small rock that you find along the pathway. This is not a rock, a stable, strong, and massive foundation. This is just a mere stone. And Jesus certainly didn't suggest that the man Peter was the sure foundation for his church. What then is the rock that Jesus is talking about? The word translated rock is the feminine Greek word petra. So Jesus uses different words to refer to Peter, a small stone, petros, and petra, which means a mass of connected rock. This is a vast and strong, stable formation that he could safely build his church on. So what or who is this rock? Let's back up a few verses before Jesus makes this statement in Matthew 16, verses 15 to 16. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. It's Peter's profession that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. It's not one man, Peter, but the God-man, Jesus Christ, who is the foundation for his church. Jesus is the rock. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 4 says, For they drank of that spiritual rock, that's Petra, that followed them. And that rock, or Petra, was Christ. In the Bible, Jesus is referred to as the Petra. He is the rock. And friends, we can be happy that God's church is built on no other than Jesus Christ himself. We are weak. We stumble and fall, but Jesus is unshakable. He is the cornerstone. Hades and hell cannot stand against him. Culture, technology, social trends cannot stand against him. His church will stand because it is built on the rock of Jesus Christ himself. Is it your desire today to build your life on this same rock, Jesus Christ? Write your answer in the comments below. Thanks so much for joining us again on this Tough Tuesday. And remember that you can share with us your thoughts, your suggestions for future verses in Tough Tuesday in the comments section below. And if you don't want to miss any of our future videos, simply click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And as always, Maranatha, and we'll see you next time.